Welcome to SSP TV Community News. I'm Lisa Sugart. Today we are here in the beautiful community of Beach Mountain Lake in Drums at the home of Father Mike Clotton. And we are here for a really great reason. It's a food fight against hunger. Now we're not going to have a food fight, no, but it's, we're talking about rectory set cook a big competition father so before i get into that i want to tell everybody because they know your face looks familiar mm -hmm. that you are the pastor of immaculate conception parish in freeland good shepherd parish in drums mm -hmm. and the administrator at saint patrick church in Whitehaven. so congratulations on all of that thank you very and much he found time to enter this contest <laughs> so tell us all about it it's a wonderful contest the, uh, the premise of this contest is bottom line is to feed the hungry so an idea came up several years ago in the diocese about, let's see if we can get the, the priest involved in it some way. There was a little bit of resistance at first, but last year proved to be incredibly successful. And what it's done is it's taken priests throughout the diocese who volunteer to cook. Some are real professional chefs, others are just making that hot chocolate out there. The idea here is this, that the priests come in, they cook, you vote for them, Whatever money you vote for goes to feed the hungry within our diocese through Catholic social services. Every dime that's uh, raised stays in the diocese of Scranton to help feed people all over the place. Last year's total, they were hoping for $50,000. They came up with $171,000 to help feed the poor in this diocese. So all the priests who are involved in it are very happy to be a part of it. And it welcomes you into our lives for a little bit, into our kitchens to see how creative or how crazy some of us are. <laughs> <laughs> now, you made a really wonderful sounding recipe. So tell us what you made and are you a regular cook? Well, in the rectory, there are three of us who live there. So I cook seven days a week and I don't mind it at all. It's actually, it's very therapeutic. One of the priests that lived there likes Irish soda bread, Father Peter O'Rourke. So on a weekly basis, I make this Irish soda bread for him. I was taught by my own mother and a cook at the, high, the rectory where I grew up taught the, me how to put it together. And it really is simple ingredients. Uh, Irish soda bread actually surprisingly started with the Native American Indians in this country where they would take ash from the fire and put it into a bread mixture that gave it that kind of soda part, um, like Irish soda bread has baking soda in it. So the Irish adopted it and the basic ingredients are flour, buttermilk, butter, no egg, sugar, and raisins, and if you like, caraway seeds. Simple ingredients put together. The secret of any Irish soda bread is to make sure it's done in a cast iron skillet. And I have my cast iron skillet for over 20 years, and it has made an awful lot of great food. Wow, that sounds great. Now, we're at the kitchen where you actually made it, mm -hmm. and we're showing mm -hmm. video of you actually making it for the contest, mm -hmm. uh, which is available at the website for the Diocese of Scranton, so you can go there. And Father, they can go there and see you and all the cooks and their entries, but they can vote there as well. That's what we want folks to do. First, look at all of the cooks there. You'll see my particular video that I made. And the idea is that you pledge a few dollars. Some people have pledged as little as five dollars, and others have uh, pledged several hundred dollars. The idea is just check out these guys in their kitchens doing their signature dishes. Um, and it's a great way, again, I'm gonna go back to it, is feeding the hungry in our area. With the economy the way it is nowadays, the diocese has had to reach out a little bit further than they've had in the past, particularly with our soup kitchens and with our giveaways of food. This money is going to help people, sometimes your own neighbors. Well, that, that's really true. I was going to ask you about that. You're you know, serving three parishes in our community. So how has that need increased like over the last few years? Lisa, that's a great question. Um, I can see in my own parishes, in, in the parish in Freeland, we give out over uh, $700 a month in gift cards to the needy in our parish. I know that Good Shepherd uh, helps an awful lot with some of the food banks in the particular area. The need has increased. You just have to look around with the water bills, the, the gas bills, uh, gasoline itself. Everything is going up, and sometimes the last thing on the list is trying to buy food. So we're there as a church to help these people, and in a fun way, raise some money in the process. Well, this is truly a fun way. So we hope that you will go and check out the videos. And um, do you think you're going to win? You know what? To me, uh, the winners are people who are the poor and they, they get the money. 
I'm certainly not going to win. There's some priests up there who are over $10,000 pledged already. The idea is that we get a lot of people to, to pledge. This contest goes on until February 21st, so I encourage you to get out there to look at the videos, to vote, uh, to pledge the money so that uh, people can be fed in our area. That's true. And so it goes until uh, Fat Tuesday, would you say, or it's going to be Donut Day. So you can cast your vote up until noon on that day. And then mm -hmm. they're going to pick the winner, I believe, at 5 o'clock. So right before Ash Wednesday, we're going to know who won this. And that's a great thing to be finding out how much money we have to help the needy with Lent starting the season that we're yeah. going to reflect on all of this. Right. The holy season of Lent is an opportunity for us to kind of step back a little bit. Between January and February 21st during this contest, we're going to have a lot of fun, but it is during that season of Lent when we get the opportunity to reflect on all that God has given us and what we can do. So I encourage you to get out there now, even before the Lenten season starts, and vote for any one of those priests, even a guy with a great haircut. <laughs> <laughs> and a great sense of humor too that we got to we got to say that as well so again you made the wonderful irish soda bread so mm -hmm. please go watch that so many wonderful recipes are there it's ten dollars a vote but you can make donations of any amount as yes. father mm -hmm. said and you have up until uh fat tuesday which is uh, february 21st if you're wondering when your last date is to vote up until noon that day so father you need to make your last plea oh they can also text they can text in their donations. Mm -hmm. uh, they can text 2023 Pastor Chef 13. So I guess your number 13, 13. Mm -hmm. to the number 71777. If you text it in that way, you can make your donation easy as pie through your mm -hmm. cell phone. So that's great too. So I guess before we leave now, we hope that, like you said, the needy in the area benefit a lot from this and that mm -hmm. everyone is fed. Mm -hmm. uh, but make your plea out there uh, in your nice. Uh, cordial way that you do it. <laughs> get everybody All to right. vote for you father <laughs> ladies and gentlemen boys and girls you got father mike here in his heavenly delight and i challenge every one of you to go onto that diocesan website check out all those priests they're doing a great job and vote for the chubby guy with the best haircut you've ever seen <laughs> for Irish soda bread. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then maybe you'll be making the Irish soda bread as well because he's teaching you the recipes. So we'll all be celebrating for St. Patrick's Day with yeah. Irish soda bread. Thank you very much. Yes, happy for St. Patrick's Day to you a little early. Absolutely. Good. I wore my green and everything, so we're all good <laughs> for St. Patrick's Day. Listen, the real winners again are those in need. So please help make Rectory Set Cook a complete success. Thank you, Father. Thank you very much.